Welcome to this Friday's edition of Girls Varsity Basketball. Right now we are in senior night, and um, this is basically it's pretty self-explanatory. We represent all the seniors on the varsity girls team, and I believe before the boys game, we'll have the boys be represented as well. We have all the cheerleaders and all the non-senior players on both sides, honoring all the seniors on the team. Here comes che Chelsea Antrikin, who's had a phenomenal season, actually. Um, by the way, I'm Drake Morgan alongside Ali Dowdle, for the first time. How you doing, Ali? Good, how are you? Fantastic. A lot of people turned out. Yeah, and you know, I, I don't know why they don't turn the lights off for the girls games. Yeah. I feel like that would make it make it a lot more intense too, but mm -hmm. regardless. I've always thought that too. I, I've, I've never understood why they don't, but maybe it's safety reasons, who knows. But <laughs> coming out next, I believe, I don't see anyone coming out of here, names being read though. Anyways, excited for the game tonight. I'm not quite sure, you know, how it's going to turn out because all these games seem so, even based on records. It'll be a really good matchup, though, with Carmen. It's always been a nice matchup between these two schools <laughs> I mean in the past ten years. Yeah, conference games are always exciting just because they, they face each other only twice in a year, and there's only four teams in the entire conference, that yeah. being Kersley, Powers, Davison, and that Flushing Raiders team that we lost to by two last game. Excuse me, the last game, Davison, DTV covered. So, you know... Oh, well, not senior night quite anymore. We have Colby Bro, Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach, who actually came from Powers and wasn't able to play until midway through the season. Mm -hmm. Definitely a phenomenal basketball player. Very talented ball handler. Without a doubt. Chelsea Anchikin, one of those players that's just a run-and-gun type girl. I've seen yeah. her ma back in the first game we covered. Um, it was a very low-scoring game for both teams, but Chelsea Anchikin was the only one on the Davidson squad to have double digits in points. Nice. And... Here's Emily Lindsay. Emily Lindsay, you know, that record holder. Exactly. Well, I don't think we have to say much more. Three pointer. <laughs> there's, there's a phenomenal basketball team. There's. I think know. each individual have all their own talents and then mixed together. It's just a great combination. Oh, definitely. And, you know, last game, as you guys all know, um, that is if you tuned in, we, we sat here for about a minute and 30, both teams stagnant on this end of the court, on uh, Davidson's end as Flush, the coach told the girls to hold off, and they held the ball around the arc, which, <laughs> is, which is not a foul. They held the ball for a minute 30, and the, the Davidson girls stayed in, in their, uh, inside the arc th to wait for, wait for them to make it in, you know? But it was a minute 30, and they were down, I think, one. Yeah, th or excuse me, it was tied. Well, I mean, regardless, they won by two, so they were, it was tied. And so a minute 30, which means there's roughly a minute 45 left in the in the in the entire game mm -hmm. so flushing stayed there and and there was a, just a standoff why it was would just you like ever i think that i mean it was it was a good tactic it, i mean had they not scored on that drive right there they probably actually they excuse me they probably wouldn't have won yeah. but they did score on that drive and they left davison with 10 seconds left in the game to you know get back in it and <laughs> i wonder what kind of defense they're going to start off playing right now zone or man to man it's nice to see it Troy Bellamy taking the jump off against Brandy. You know, high school is always, it's funny to watch, too, just because you can always tell, right, the first two minutes of play is just both teams figuring out the style of play from both mm -hmm. well, from both coaches because they always switch it up so much. Oh, wow, nice snag. It almost seems like Carmen has, you know, the height on them. They're playing zone defense right now. Yep. Let's see, we have number five passing it to number three. Chelsea Edgerton almost getting the steal. That would be Davidson Ball, tipped Alrighty. off Carmen. We have Colby Bro bringing it up. All right. Excuse me, sorry, had to grab a roster. Anyways, Emily Lindsay out to Chelsea Antrikin up top to Colby Bro to Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach for an open girl, Colby Bro. Colby Bro back to Lauren. Lauren Leach almost taking the shot. Dishes it out to Emily Lindsay who throws it back to Colby Bro. Chelsea Antrikin almost getting open. Colby driving and dishing it back to Chelsea. You know, this is really nice transition of the ball. 
Lindsay almost making one of her, you know, famous three pointers that she's made so many of. But we have number five throwing it to. Yep. Um, excuse me. Number twelve, Lauren Leach. Bringing up for Emily Lindsay. Emily Lindsay to Lauren Leach to Chelsea Antrikin. Chelsea Antrikin finds Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach takes a shot, but it's no good. Number five for Carmen bringing it up. <coughs> excuse me. Number six. Excuse me. Number three to number five. Number one. Definitely moving the ball around well. Carmen is. And we have number three driving. And that's going to be a charge taken by that Tori Bellamy. Yeah. That's what I thought. Already. That was very nice. All righty. We have a Lauren Leach passing it into Colby Bro, who will bring it up for the Davidson Cardinals. Colby Bro, just one of those early bloomers. She was starter from since freshman year, since her first game of freshman year. Mm -hmm. And she's just a phenomenal basketball player. That's what's so wait. good about this program, though. They're all young. Yeah. They're only losing, I think, Emily Lindsay and Four, Chelsea Antrikin of their starters. Yep. Emily Lindsay is the only one. And Chelsea Antrikin, obviously, who's, who starts consecutively. And they have, they have two girls that I'm pretty sure are willing to take that spot. Exactly. Kendall Densmore, I think, is plays... Um, Kendall Densmore is actually the backup to Chelsea Antrikin. Very nice left-handed player. Mm -hmm. That's going to be Colby Bro's first foul. Team's first foul as well. That's going to be one shot. She makes it. One shot for Ashley Hall. And she makes it. Tori Bellamy tosses to Colby Bro. They're playing full court press right now. Trying to ooh, oh. intercepted by number 10. Number 10, Brandy Rimmer. And that's going to be two shots wow. for number 25, Jasmine Jones. I think that was pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Be team second foul. You know, Davidson really transitions the ball very well, and I think they play their perimeters to their full potential. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's also Davidson has just played that play. They've always had that hustle that most teams don't mm -hmm. have, and you know, because you see every girl getting down there before you know the defense even gets. Kobe Rowe really handles the ball very well. <laughs> yeah, she's sometimes she's a blur. I can't keep up with her sometimes. She really incorporates all the players. Yeah, and. I like how it's not one girl taking all the shots like you see some yeah. teams do. They have to rely on one team. Exactly. <laughs> they even do that in you know, the NBA. But it's, it's they, all, they all are at the same skill level. So if they all get the ball around well and find the open girl, they can generally all make shots that they're approaching with. Like Chelsea Antrikin right there. It's going to be no good, of course. At least they're one. taking shots, though, even oh though it's yeah. 6 0. <laughs> they're not sitting there spending two entire minutes of just passing the ball around the court. Because remember, there is no shot clock mm -hmm. in high school basketball. They can sit there for as long as they want, as represented this last game, because they sat there for an entire minute 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting, run out that clock. I think Davidson needs a lot of rebounds right now. I, I don't think they're really pushing their full rebound coverage. Nope. Like I said, it's just they're, they're working out how each how the defense is playing. Like, see, now they're, they're, dr they're moving quicker down the court and getting quicker at driving towards the basket. They've been forced out to the perimeter a little bit, and then... Flushing actually did that same thing. They did not let them drive once. So, you know, Emily Lindsay was forced to make, <laughs> pretty sure, like eight or nine threes, a few of which were a good four full steps behind the, the three-point line. Yeah. Just just making leaps and bounds towards, you know, a really, really big score that game. Yeah. We're going to have Chelsea Entrican, number 24th for the Davidson Cards, throwing it in. Time on Davidson. Yep. TJ calls his first full timeout. <laughs> TJ. TJ. I like to call him TJ. I or Mr. Mr. Fish Hopper. Mr. Fish Hopper, I should say, I guess. Um, one thing that was interesting about last game is it was it was kind of like a, a mutual agreement between coaches without really being said. Is uh, Right when the flushing coach, who was sitting right here, so it was, was kind of funny to see his reaction, they, they sat right there and he said, here, just the play we practice. Or, or he said something, and the girls knew exactly what to do, just sit there. Yeah. And then Mr. Fishhopper sat there and realized what was going on, <laughs> and he said the same thing to his girls. So, like, they kind of knew it. They saw it coming, I guess. Yeah. Because the last game, it came down to the wire with 
Davidson holding them off, actually, and, you know, coming back to win that game. Flushing <laughs> being the number one in the conference, too. Like, Davidson was the third. Davidson was third, and Flushing was number one at that time. So it was kind of like an upset. So Flushing coming back, and they ended up getting the revenge. So they are one and one for each other. That's always good. I think Davidson's always been a rival with Flushing at every single sport there is. Yep. It's, it's just this entire conference has become I, – I don't think so much Davidson and Carmen that much. I mean, they don't seem to have that much animosity yeah. towards each other, but Powers and Flushing, without a doubt. I oh, see yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think it was like Davidson Grand Blank before Grand Blank left our conference. Yep. Now, I mean, we're always still compared to Grand Blank, but not so much anymore because they're not in the Big, ni big Nine Conference. And But we're going to have another point for Carmen. Carmen pulling that full, port full court press towards his potential. Number 10, Brandy Rumor, also a track and volleyball player. On Carmen. Oh, yeah, you know that. That's mm -hmm. a two sports you play. Emily Lindsay with the three ball. Oh. It's no good. Tori Lindsay dishing it back out. Oh, number five's going to find it. Ashley Hall driving up. Stops for the field goal, and it's no good. See, look at those rebounds. You don't see them right now. <laughs> nope. I don't I think Davidson's really. Oh, Tori Bellamy taking another charge. Noise. Excuse me. That's going to be. Yep, that was a charge. Very, very well played by Tori, Tori She's Bellamy. So good at that. Yep, she. It, she even plants well, too. Wait. Actually, nope. That's going to be a foul on Tori. She's Cuba. not. Hmm. It would have been good. And it's going to be Carmen. Carmen's ball. 25. Jasmine Jones throwing it in deep to number three. Kintara Tomlin. Notice, right now, there's three sophomores. One junior and one yep, senior. Kayla Ryan almost getting that reach, but Emily Lindsay bringing it up. And Mariah Ferris. All right, Ferris to Emily Lindsay once again. Lindsay looking for an open girl, trying to fake out number 25. Lauren Leach driving with a field goal, and that's going to be no good. Still no points on the board for Davidson. Davidson struggling with this full court press that Carmen's brought upon him. See, long pass to number five, Ashley Hall. Ashley Hall back to 25. Jasmine Jones, Jasmine back to Hall, who finds number 10 down low. Brandy Rimmer. Rimmer, Rimmer correct. Oh, Colby getting that interception. Colby Let's bringing it down Colby for Rowe the does Davidson. With this one. one on one, and she fought almost putting points on the board for Davidson. I think I saw a little nudge down low, but you know what are you gonna do? Lauren Leach faced with a two on one, but you know holds her off. There Number you 20, go. Mariah Ferris fighting for it. Mariah Ferris and Lauren Leach have a little bit of collision. Colby Bro, well, well played by Colby Bro. Not many Davidson players down there. Excuse me, Carmen oh. players. Oh, and that's gonna be a foul on number. Number three, Kintara Tomlin. This will be That's Carmen's first name. foul. A very hard name. Be Carmen's first foul, our first chance at free throws. Emily Lindsay. No, that Michaela Ryan was wide open there, but Lauren Leach took the shot, which isn't bad at all. I mean, yeah, everyone wants their time to shine. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure eventually they'll start playing more conservatively. Lauren Leach going to the sideline, talking to Mr. Chris Hopper a little bit. Emily Lindsay. Mr. First. Emily Lindsay is ge generally always, you know, successful with threes mm -hmm. and free throws. It makes her first. And that'll be the first point on the board for Davison. Eight to one. Oh, wow. Number one, back to number 10. Davison taking up that full court press roll. And then Jasmine Jones with a deep ball, but it's going to be no good. Davison finally turning around and getting those turnovers like they need. Kobe Bro running down. She's double team. That'll be that'll be a foul on number five. It'll be the team's third foul. Ashley Hall. Davidson ball. Kobe Bro bringing it in. Fast pass to Emily Lindsay. Finds Lauren Leach. Kobe, Kobe Bro is such a fast play player. Yeah, she's it's one of those things where she makes decisions so quick. Yeah. She's good at it though. Yeah, and she, she's actually I've known that entire family for, for a while, actually. And she's she's been playing ball since she was fifth grade. You know, it's just, she's it's it's come muscle memory at this point. Her and Mariah Ferris are on a travel team together, and I guess they go to nationals every year. Yep. And that's just something to be proud of anyway. <laughs> Two girls that can actually say, oh, my God, I'm going to Disney World. But, yeah. I mean, for, to play basketball, though. You know. <laughs> to play basketball. <laughs> and from, from what I've been told, they've been doing very, very well on that travel yeah. team. I want to know where they're going to go to college. <laughs> I think, I mean, sophomore year is still too early to tell, but. No, that's your showcase year. Is it? 
Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I play golf, and I broke my thumb sophomore year, so that was my showcase year. <laughs> 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 Shot made by Carmen, number one, Jasmine Boyd. Nine to one. Carmen. Davidson really needs to kick up their gears right now. They can't fall too far behind and try to make it up in the end. Oh, well, still a whole heck of a lot of basketball game to play. Yeah. And they're not down too much. I mean, it being an eight point, or excuse me, nine point game now after mm -hmm. she made that second free throw. Um, quick pass down low to Michaela Ryan. Oh. Almost getting the and one. I think Michaela just got rocked in the face. Yeah, there, it seems like no matter what, the Carmen girls also being extremely quick. Always having that double team on no matter who has the ball. It's Kayla Ryan looks pretty angered right now. Gracie but flustered. Hopefully she makes these two free throws. And she makes, excuse me. I oh, spoke too soon, you know. But Kayla Ryan is a really mental player. I mean, she incorporates mental physicalness and. I mean, yeah, you played with her on the volleyball team, correct? Yes. She, you guys did phenomenal this year, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. It was a good year. And did not make her second. It's all right. She still has room to grow. Only a sophomore. Number one, Jasmine Boyd fighting for that rebound. Back to 25, Jasmine Jones. Jasmine Jones finds number five, Hall. Back to 23. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Mar Mariah Ferris falling all the way to the ground. Mariah Ferris is such a trooper. The last... The flushing game that they played just a little bit ago was just, that's going to be, going to be black ball. Now that's what you call, hit the floor. Yeah. Mariah Ferris just always seems, no matter what game we cover, always seems to get banged up a little bit. She's mm -hmm. a trooper though. She has never, you know, complained. I've never seen her, you know, tired or even act exhausted. Her and Colby generally in the entire, you know, length of the game. Notice right now four sophomores are in the game. Yep. That just and shows where this you know, is going to be going. in the next yeah. two years. It's definitely exciting to see you know, how this team will progress and imagine, you know, these girls' senior year. Oh, yeah. It's going to be without a doubt. Oh, that's going to be a foul. Two shots from Michaela Ryan. Michaela Ryan, good at drawing fouls. No. Her and Tori. Mm -hmm. Greatness. <laughs> Fortunately, Tori didn't get that last one. I figured out. They ended up being Carmen Ball down low. Let's see if she can make it up right now. I'm hoping. It's been a very, very low scoring and you know, low, mm -hmm. low even shot game. Mm. Lots, lots and lots of fantastic rebounds. I don't know if she's trying to hit the rebound or trying to get on net, but. Hmm. I think at this point, it's just get any points on the board for both yeah, teams. Yeah, definitely. Definitely still not holding that lead too far. She goes and takes her second. No good. And then. It's all right. She can make up for it. Jasmine Boyd finding that second rebound. See what Carmen Jasmine sets Boyd up right here. Running up pretty quick. That's going to be. Carry. Yep, that was a carry. Let's see, it'll be Morgan Hitchcock throwing it into Colby Bro. Let's see if Davidson can make anything out of this drive. Colby Bro, quick pass to Morgan Hitchcock. Morgan Hitchcock faking her out. Down oh, low nice to Michaela pass. Ryan. And then Michaela Ryan makes up for those two drawn fouls. Told you she makes up for yep. it. That'll put the first points on the board in a while. Davidson definitely, definitely putting the intensity that they didn't have before. Stolen and by Mariah Ferris. And the man Ferris. defense, noise. Colby Bro, and then the bench signaling, you know, slow it down. See if we can make this uh, Davidson drive for a little bit. See if we can't make a comeback. Right now they're a 2-0 drive. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, There's Benchmore. 30 seconds left within the period. Colby Bro, Morgan Hitchcock definitely good at the fake outs. That'll be uh. travel on Morgan Hitchcock. Carmen Ball, Jasmine Boyd throwing it in. I think the Davidson team just really needs to calm down right now. They're mm -hmm. getting really flustered and really mad at themselves. Slow they down. They need to calm down and pass the ball. In any sport. And I mean, execute their game. Mental composure is going to come with it. but Definitely. I think, if anything, it's not anger. It's intensity trying to, you know, just yeah. get, get this game back on track. Let's see, we have number five, Ashley Hall. Nice Throwing defense transition. Deep pass to Jasmine Boyd. Jasmine going back to number 25, down low to, excuse me, I can't see what number that is, up oh, 20, Sarah Staliak. Kendall Benfor almost get, <laughs> had a chance to get off that last shot of the quarter, but coming in to the second quarter, it is 3 to 10, a very, very low scoring game for both teams. And I believe they're going to be taking out to 
Scott Wadowski eventually here. But until then, let's chat a little bit more about this game. What do you think Davison has to do differently, Allie? I think they need to execute their plays a lot better. Right now, they're not getting to their post on the inside. They're keeping it outside of the perimeter, which they need to get the ball inside. Oh, okay. Because Carmen, very good defensive and offensive team. Mm -hmm. All right, well. need to work around that. Yeah, we'll finish up in a little bit. We got to let Scotty Wadowski, our sideline reporter. What do you have for us, Scotty? Thanks, guys. I'm Scott Wadowski here at the last regular game of the season. Now, next, next Monday, the 28th, the girls will be facing off in the district finals against Northwestern at Lapeer East. Now, the last time the ladies faced off against Northwestern, they beat them 55 to 54. So the next time they should be playing them should be very close. Now, let's toss it back to you guys. All righty, and we're back. Anyways, you want to finish up with what you're saying, Allie? Yes, I said that Davidson really needs to ex execute their plays right now. I think they're just passing the ball around, hoping that they'll get a shot in. But they really need to import their post right now. Mariah Ferris down low. Like Michaela that. Michaela Ryan <laughs> with another layup. Definitely right about Michaela That's Ryan. What they need to She's do right now. Her. Whoa! Definitely that was, like a was not shot our table. Towards the desk. <laughs> Should have seen the guys face it next to me. <laughs> All that candy on that table just bounced off the ground. You guys okay? Are we good, guys? Are we good? We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All righty. Back to our ball game. Yeah, Kendall Densmore to Michaela Ryan. Out to Kendall Densmore to Colby Bro. Morgan Morning Hitchcock. Like I said, right now, outside Hitchcock. the perimeter. Yep. Oh, long pass to Kendall Densmore, who's wide open with the two ball. That's going to oh. be no good. Jasmine Boyd back to. Jasmine Jones, who finds Gooch up top. Travel. Travel, Davison Ball. This turnout just, by every minute, I see more and more people here. Coming up here soon, we got um, the reason you'll see if um, any players you haven't seen yet before um, on the court, it's because they moved up for the tournament. But next Monday, they start playing in the district game. Excuse me, regionals? Regionals yes. come before districts, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. On Monday, they actually have... Oh, no. Let's see here. Actually, well, we'll check after this. Kendall Densmore couldn't quite get up there. Mariah Ferris helping her out, though. Morgan Hitchcock finding that rebound. Long pass to Kendall Densmore. Mariah Ferris, who's open. Mariah Ferris driving. Mariah Ferris, see, taking another hit. Wow. Getting right back up and running with it. Kobe Bros down there with her. That's going to be... Point. Is that an and one? Another foul on Davison. Okay. I think Davis is trying to... Oh, yep. And she got an and one. Very well played by the Carmen player. Emily Lindsay about to come in. For Morgan Hitchcock. All righty. Well, I don't... In, quite in front of me have the team they're playing against regionals. Uh, but I, I have a strong feeling it's Swartz Creek. But they are playing at whoever they are playing on Monday. See, number 25. First one, excuse me, her only one is no good. Emily Lindsay, she's back in the game. Oh, we're actually going to have a replay of that and one, I believe. Here it is. Right back up and run with. Down yep. there with her. As you can see, Kobe Bro trying to block it. Kobe Bro, it, it was well played by Kobe yes. Bro. I think it was just she was a little bit more aggressive than Kobe Bro anticipated. So exactly. Wrong place, wrong time. And she was still moving. Speaking of, she just passed it to Emily Lindsay. She's looking for an open girl. Carmen sticking with her full court press. I mean, you why not? You see Kobe Bro really trying to pick up her team right now. Yep, definitely hustling. Kendall Densmore still in. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> looks like a little bit of fumbling. No one really knew where the ball was at that entire time. Yeah. Going to go through the legs of Kendall Densmore and go out on Carmen. Lauren Leach coming in for Kendall Densmore. Lauren Leach back into the game. It's 14-5. DHS follows. 6.04 left in this half. 23, Gooch bringing it up and passes it to Jones, who finds Hall. Hall back to Jones. Jones looking for an open girl, but gonna drive. Stolen. <laughs> it was like a you know team like a tag team steal between Warren Leach and Michaela Ryan. It's gonna be uh, Cavaliers ball. 
Jasmine Jones throwing it in for the Cavaliers. Jasmine Boyd losing it. Lauren Leach finding it. Lauren Leach trying to gain control. Nice. Oh, Michaela Ryan Michaela helps Ryan. her out. That was almost an over and back. Looking for the over and back, and that's going to be a jump ball right there. Lauren Leach fighting for it. Nice work by Lauren Leach holding her own. Cavs definitely <laughs> being a bit aggressive. That was something never had, you know, having that close to this announcer's table. You know, some tension building up here. That was that was pure rage almost, it yeah. seemed like. See, we're going to have Emily Lindsay. That was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colby Bro to finding an open girl. Excuse me. She faked, She even faked me out. I thought she was going to pass her. Mm -hmm. Lauren Leach finds Colby Bro. Back out to Emily Lindsay. Mm. Mariah Ferris inside. Close. Taking it out back to the perimeter. Mariah, Colby Bro trying to set up the pick. It works. Finds Mariah Ferris once again. Mariah Ferris Just cannot connect on that um, on that field goal. Let's see, we're going to have number five. Mariah Ferris getting that ball. Oh. It's going to be out on the Cavs. Well played by Mariah Ferris. Got right back down there and almost had that ball back and causing a turnover for Davidson. Here comes Chelsea Entrican for Mariah Ferris. <laughs> I think Mariah Ferris needs a break and sit down just for a little bit, you know. She's mm -hmm. been taking hits and she's been in the game since the very well start. Well, they try to take out your best player in every sport. I don't know about like track and volleyball, but because uh -huh. it's like no contact, but. Right. Definitely <laughs> basketball and hockey. Yep. Oh, oh, that one's coming for us. Cav ball, tipped by Chelsea Entrican. We'll just say that was passed to us. We're on the Davidson team, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have number five, Ashley Hall. Out to 34 in the game for the first time. Elias Sinnott, who finds Number 23, Gooch, back to Boyd. Boyd to Sinnott. Pin to Boyd, Boyd up top, driving. Who dishes it back out to Gooch. Who finds Stawiak, or excuse me, Stockwiak. Mariah Ferris is going back in right now. <laughs> in for who? Mariah Ferris going back in for, looks like Lauren Meach. Kobe Bro. Oh, no, Kobe Bro. First time in a long time I've seen her sit on the bench. Yeah. Huh. Good player, she, though. She's all right. Yeah, definitely. He's in. All righty. We're going to have Gooch throwing it in. Find Stockwiak. Back down to Gooch. Gooch double teamed. We're going to have Mariah Ferris bringing it up. Mariah Ferris, good pass. Emily Lindsay tries to throw it right back in. She's going to keep up with it. So we're going to have... <laughs> Mar Mariah Ferris stealing it right back. Definitely doing well with the turnovers here. Chelsea Entrican. Oh, that was sick. Oh, yeah. That's oh. what Chelsea Entrican does. She'll just drive and have the craziest lay up layups. That would have been so cool if she made it. Yep, I completely agree. That was like an alley-oop, but like reverse. All righty, we're going to have Chelsea almost had that and one. I think she was just trying to draw the foul, really. But I'd love to see a replay on that. I completely agree. What do you think, control room? But she missed her first. She's going to take her second. Chelsea Entrican, one of those players that's just. We'll I just love their just shoes, too. They have nice shoes. Just Carmen. I mean, do they all have the same shoes otherwise? I think no, Davidson's is all just the same color scheme. I mean. See, we got Boyd, for number 34. Yeah. Timeout on Carmen. 30 second timeout for Carmen. Alrighty. So, Drake, what do you think they need to do right now? I think Davidson just needs to, you know, regain their composure and try to definitely keep up the turnovers, but, you know, convert on their turnovers. They have yeah. Mariah Ferris and Michaela Ryan definitely have their fair share of steals and, you know, blocks and off <laughs> defensive rebounds. Mm -hmm. If Had they converted on, I think, half of them, th it, would be, it would be a way closer game than it is now. Yeah. And I think... Uh, Mr. Fishhopper right now is just telling him, you know, keep him composure because he he's one of those guys that just will never look phased ever. Yeah. Even he laughed in the face of the flushing coach who did it, uh, who just stood there for like whatever the minute 45 seconds, and he I just saw him on the, on the sideline laughing, not like upset, mm -hmm. not you know him by doing in my mind was something you know a little 
a little the safe way, I guess. Definitely. He didn't, you know, go for it like some coaches would. He just kind of waited there so they had his chance to score. And Mr. Fischauber just sat there and laughed. And <laughs> he's, he's a great uh. guy. And I actually just saw him tell his girls to communicate a little bit more. I think there's so much intensity in the they air. They need to. I hear Carmen talking, 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 and yep. I don't hear anything from Davidson right now. That's a key component in basketball, mm -hmm. is communication within your team. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. 23 Gooch, who finds Hall. Hall back to Gooch. Chelsea oh Hitchkin wow. almost connecting with that one. Gooch with the well. Oh, Boyd finding the offensive rebound, but does not convert. <laughs> a little bit of a tangle up right in the key, Mariah Ferris. They're calling that Let's a see. tip off of Davison, which not I did not see at all, but. Neither did I. But, you know. We're not the rest, we don't see everything. We'll go from there. Emily Lindsay almost, almost having that one. We got Hall up top. Hall finds number 34, Sinnott. Sinnott it back to Hall, to the left side of the key. Sinnott up top, driving. Oh, that's gonna be Emily Lindsay's ball. Emily Lindsay looking for a girl. Finds Mariah Ferris, who stops with Emily Lindsay with a two ball. And that'll be another two points for Davison. Still a low scoring game, making yeah. it eight to 14, Carmen. We got Boyd to number 34. Gooch with the ball, finds Hall. Davison going with his own defense, I can tell. Not, not quite going girl on girl, but you know. It's just one of those things where you gotta readjust for certain, certain situations, because I don't know, this is a completely different line I've seen. So we got 32 in now, Tara Mitchell. She is a, a junior guard for the Cavs. Lauren Leach back in the game once again. Lauren Leach. All the girls on Carmen look really built. They all, I don't know, definitely look like they're made to play basketball. Oh, Chelsea nice Etchkin steal. finding it. Oh! oh Chelsea Etchkin. She does it every time. But she drew another foul. That'd be That'll awesome. be Davidson ball down low. Chelsea Etchkin. Alrighty. Chance can forward the Davidson Cardinals going in. Mr. Fish Abbott trying to understand what just went on. <laughs> I don't think he quite understood that call. Look at him, he's just over there laughing. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> just laughing because he has no idea what's going I love on. Mr. Fish he's such a just a kind hearted guy. Yep. Definitely. Great teacher too. Known well within the community. Ne have actually, you know, had him as a teacher, but talked to him on numerous occasions. Very, I have him as a teacher right very now. Very well. Good speaker as well. I love it. I mean, like I love him. He's so nice. Oh, okay. Understandable. All right. We got Chelsea Entrickin, number 24, for the Davidson Cardinals with her second. And it's oh. no good. Racking <laughs> up the points here. <laughs> yep. 9 to 14, closing in on Carmen. Boyd, who dishes it out to Gooch. Two point. With a no good two ball. Gooch Boyd. missed the ball. Boyd. Mm. Kayla Ryan. Gonna be a Davidson ball. Number 20, Mariah Ferris, throwing it in. Lauren Leach, bringing it up. <laughs> See now, now they just cleared it up. Definitely hear Mr. Fishhopper yelling. But we got a ref just now coming down. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, there weren't any fouls that you missed. All right, Emily Lindsay with the long ball. She so shoots close. so weird, but it's it's, it's such a, like a high rainbow it's shot. It's not bad. It's just it's so different. Can we count that as oh, an A1? Oh, Mr. Fishhaber flustered about that. Mr. Fishhaber, definitely one of those people that could be, you know, happy and laugh and, and then just completely change once he sees he has to be serious about something. <laughs> definitely good in the coach. See, now he's laughing. I can't he's keep up. He's just talking to the curtain girl. I can't keep up. Basketball players need knee pads. They need to bring that back. Yeah. Don't volleyball girls have that, right? Yeah, but we barely fall. That's true. I mean, I've seen like five occasions right now where they just smack the floor. <laughs> I think that's just to show their toughness and their dedication to basketball yeah, still, and the court. <laughs> oh, Stawiak with a nice turnaround, Jay, but it's going to be no good. Michaela Ryan with another rebound. It's going to be like six for her. Chelsea Entrickin driving once again. That's going to be nice. Davison Ball. You can see Chelsea Entrickin really trying right now. Chelsea Entrickin trying to get some of those 
drives that Carmen just isn't seeing coming. Mm -hmm. it's, al it's almost good what she's doing right now because she just draws it, draws that foul that gets yeah. it right on the baseline. It's almost like she just knows exactly what to do. That's going to be out on Carmen. Paul couldn't quite, you know, keep her hands on that one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have Chelsea Antrikin for the Davidson Cardinals starting it in. Morgan Hitchcock, back to Chelsea Antrikin. Long pass out to Emily Lindsay, who's wide. Mariah Ferris there you go, fighting. Get to the post. Oh, in that yeah. and one. There you go. What? Oh, I find myself clapping on that one. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks? It's I a fish hopper. Very <laughs> I don't know what to call that emotion. I don't know. I always try to look at his emotion to see what's really going on, but I can't keep up. Are they going to count that one? Are they going to count that? Nope, I don't think they counted it. That is unfortunate. No, they didn't. Now I know why that face was made. Rubbing of the temples with his wrists, almost. Let's see. Morgan, excuse me, Mariah Ferris. Can you jump off? Going to get a replay coming up here real quick. Replay of that almost and one that they ended up calling back. Chelsea entered in. Looking deep ball to Emily Lindsay, who stays with it. Morgan Hitchcock to Mariah Ferris with the long ball. Oh. Almost good. Mariah Ferris getting her own rebound, hustling, trying to get that field goal. Almost getting her own rebound again. See, but Boyd finds it. Right the long now. ball to Jones, and Jones with the Jones well played. Definitely Jones stepping up in this game. Being aggressive and making plays like that. That ref is on Emily Lindsay. That was that was quite a play by Carmen. Nice yeah. work. She got the and one and a <laughs> well executed layup. Good hustling. I feel bad for Emily Lindsay. And she was just wrong place, wrong time, yeah. just like Poe. All right, gonna have Mariah Ferris throwing into Chelsea Entrickin. Back to Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris having some trouble down there. Chelsea Entrickin trying to get it back up past half court. She she makes it past number 32. Mariah Ferris with the field goal. That's going to be no good. But Chelsea Entrickin does get the offensive rebound. Yes, Long yeah. ball to Emily Lindsay. Finds more than Hitchcock. Oh, there you Michaela go. Ryan down low. That's going to be a foul. <laughs> she just takes those fouls like it's her job. It's going to be a two-shot foul for Michaela Ryan. All right. Michaela's third time. I don't think I've seen throws. anyone but Michaela, Chelsea, and Emily up there. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot more players on the court, too. Carmen definitely keeping it, switching up more than Davidson I've ever seen do it. Dave, Carmen has switched girls in and out faster than I can even keep up with. See, Stockwiak hasn't been in there for a while, has she? All right. It is still a, excuse me, eight-point game. We're going to have Michaela Ryan taking her second. Just watch how Davidson rebounds. Nice. If, she, if they need to. Nice work by Michaela That's Ryan converting. Nice shot using the backboard. Davidson now fighting three girls on those two. Trying to fight and get those turnovers before the end of the half. Definitely fighting. But Morgan Big Hitchcock steal. finds it. Emily Lindsay bringing Emily it up. Lindsay. Looking for an open girl. Looking Emily Lindsay girl. just needs to take it. Morgan Hitchcock finds Chelsea Entrickin with the two ball. That's going to be good. Nice. nice play by the girls. Nice play by Davidson. Davidson trying to close in on this lead before the end of the half. Emily Lindsay almost getting that. See if Davidson can get another turnover. And you just can't be taking those shots. Oh, but they ended up getting that offensive rebound. See? Here's Carmen running out that clock. Let's see what they can do. Very intense That's game right gonna now. Be ending with Carmen. It's going to be out of bounds. 2.9 seconds left in the half. What? That's going to be it's Carmen Ball. Called a touch, yeah. Is that? Oh. It's called a touch on Davidson. I think that might have been a tip off of Michaela Ryan going in for it. And then shoot it. They have to shoot it now. If they want, that's going to be no good. Going into the end of the first half, we're going to be 17. Can I have a replay coming Carmen? up and then sideline? Okay. All right, well, that's still 17 Carmen and 12 Davidson. 
I believe that's going to be of that two ball Look by Chelsea Anchikin. Well, the entire play was Beautiful. just well thought out. On it. Out. On it. Let's see. Coming now, out to we get to bring it to Scott Wadowski, our sideline reporter. What do you have for us, Scotty? Bowling team who took on Lansing this morning for the regional matchup. The boys and girls did beat Lansing, so uh, congratulations on that advancement. And good luck goes to the cheer team who advances to the regional competition tomorrow at Heartland High School. And again, on Monday, the girls' hoops team will tip off their postseason against Flint Northwestern. That district game will be played at Lapeer West. The boys, and the boys will not start their districts until March 7th to meet Clio. That game is at Flint Northwestern. The hockey team skates into action on Tuesday, March 1st at Pirani Arena against Swartz Creek at 7 p.m. And last but not least, the wrestling team will send nine grapplers, including five freshmen, to the state individual tournament next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, where they, where they will compete for a state title. Now let's take it back to Drake and Allie with the rest of the game. I'll see you guys after uh, the halftime. Alrighty. Any last thoughts before we go into this halftime show? No? Um, they really need to pick up their game. Yep. But you know, it's, it is a you know the smallest lead besides the first one minute of the quarter of the first quarter. I thought they did towards the end though. I think if they backed out more, they'd get more rebounds. You know, that's generally how it works. I agree. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, boxing out results in more fouls, too, though. So it's kind of like an upside and a downside. It will be Carmen Ball off the bat. We have number five, Ashley Hall, out to number three, Tomlin. Excuse me. Yeah. Yep, Tomlin. Tomlin's right. Boyd. Out to number 25, then out to number 5, Hall, and that will be Black Ball, Carmen Ball. <coughs> we will have Tomlin, who finds Hall. Back to Tomlin up top. Quick pass, but stopped by Le Le excuse me, Lauren Leach and Tori Bellamy back into the game. And Kobe Bro. I don't know if he was just saving them for the beginning of the <laughs> second half or what. Because I haven't seen any of them in the game for a very, very long time. Both of them look definitely, I think it was for a fresh pair of legs. Well well done by Mr. Fishhopper. All right, this will be Davison Ball for the first time in the half. Lauren Leach finds Kobe Bro, who has Chelsea Antrikin dishes it out. Back to Colby. Colby Bro with the free ball. I mean, oh. no good. Chelsea Antrikin fighting for that, keeping it in bounds, but couldn't quite connect. We'll have Hall for the Cavs. And Davidson rearranging and getting this full, port, port, full court press <laughs> underway. There we go. I got it. All right. Number oh, nice 10. Pass. Out to Boyd. Boyd, well, nice play by Boyd. That was very well played. Fake me out. I, I would have thought she was going to drive. Nice little stop, jump shot. Lauren Team Leach. Carmen, they get the chance oh. and they execute it perfectly. But I'll be pretty sure that's Davidson Ball. Yep. That was, I think that was just unluck on both sides. <laughs> We're going to have a replay. We're going to have a replay. Oh, oh that's that uh, Jasmine Boyd shot. Like I said, it was, it was very, very well executed by the Cavs. But back to the action. We have Colby Bro up top. Colby Bro almost driving, but we find Emily Lindsay. Lindsay with the long ball. It's going to be no good. Boyd. Excuse me, that was Tomlin. Finds Hall. Colby Bro. <sighs> it's going to be out on Colby, but, you know, way to stop the play. And get all yeah. the girls back down there. Definitely. I would take knocking it out of bounds over having only Colby and Lauren down there. Hall finds Rimmer. 
Rimmer, thank you. It's the only thank name you. I don't know. You're the only, always the one that chimes in. <laughs> and we got Jones, who finds Tomlin with a nice jump shot. And that'll put him up four. That's a 4-0 four oh run for the Chargers. Excuse me, not the Chargers, the Cavaliers. Chelsea Etchkin. <laughs> Another one of those four follows. It's almost like it's muscle memory. <laughs> Just going at free attempts at, you know, getting the ball You can tell Chelsea's definitely not scared to drive. I mean, you can see a lot of players that hesitate, and then they just don't shoot at all, but and then they Chelsea's a really know. aggressive player, and yeah. I, I think we all like that about her. And, you know, it also helps because she knows how to draw the foul so well that she's gotten so good at free throws. Definitely. Free chances at getting points on the board, which is almost what we need. One of the key players to Davidson right now. I believe... I think Kendall Densmore is ready to step up to the challenge, though. Oh, yeah. For her senior year. She's and just athletic both. in general. Kendall Densmore plays like 17 sports altogether, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> we got Tomlin almost going over and back. Still up by Tori Bellamy. Good play by Tori Bellamy. That's going to be. Carmen Ball, down low. She tried to smack the ball like she was spiking a volleyball. She doesn't play volleyball, does she? She did. Oh, okay. Well. She's very good at it. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> well played by, is that number 23? Yep. That's going to be Gooch back in the game. Chelsea, driving. Finds Colby Bro up top. Dishes out to Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach with the shot. That's going to be... Good inch, out of bounds, touch the top of the backboard. A good spin on it. It's going to be <coughs> Tomlin All of the ball. Davidson players have been really been in the program for a long time. I know the Leeches definitely have. Her mom used to coach at Powers and played college basketball. Yep. So it runs in their family. Emily Lindsay finds Chelsea Antrican down low with the easy layup. Chelsea Antrican converting. Full court press working for the Cardinals. Kobe Bro stealing wow. another turnover in that same side of the ball. Oh. Fortunately, we did, we did not convert on that field goal. But we have Gooch driving, but no good. Nice well rebound by Tori Bellamy. Yep. Kobe Bro fighting for it. I don't know if they're going to go for the jump ball. It's going to be a carry. Carry for. They have a replay coming up. For Gooch. I believe that's of that Chelsea entry thing. Layup, or at least I hope it is. I want to see that again. Yep, Chelsea Andrewkin converting. Davidson really needs to commit right now. Yep, they need to keep this drive going. Commit to their passes, commit to their defense. They've done well with converting on these turnovers so far. Definitely a lot of transitions going on in this game. To Mariah Ferris, just out to Colby Bro. Colby Bro to Emily Lindsay to Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris to Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach looking for an open girl. Has Emily Lindsay up top. Out to Colby Bro. Down low, quick pass to Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris trying to get that layup. No, Mariah Ferris getting her own rebound. Down to Tori Bellamy. Nice turn with around the easy by Tori two, Bellamy. Two ball. Tori Bellamy, I've seen such an improvement since the beginning of the season. Oh, yes. Pretty remarkable. I think she's going to mold into the shoes of her sister. Maybe I, even be better. I hope so. That's definitely a legacy that I wouldn't mind seeing. All the kept Bellamys. Alive. Just remarkable athletes in general. Without a doubt. But back to Carmen. We have Hall with the ball. Hall out to Jones. Long pass out to Tomlin. It's going to be. I don't think Emily Lindsay touched that ball. Not but quite sure. Is that a kick on Davidson? Yeah. All right. I don't even know what that call was, but. All right, we're gonna have you know, Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> That's how you have I mean, to deal we really, with it. really don't have much say as to no. what happens. So Hall Tell what happens. out to Gooch. To Hall, back out to Jones. Tip nice by Colby Bro, by almost Kobe. converted on it into a steal. And that's gonna be a very, very short stuff by Mariah Ferris. Davison definitely playing way more aggressive defense than they have. Oh, yeah. Long pass out to Colby Bro, who finds Emily Lindsay outside with the long ball. That's oh. not, she couldn't quite convert, but offensive rebound. Almost another offensive rebound. That's going to be a jump off. Like I said, Mariah Ferris taking hits. 
she was on the ground in the middle of that transition. Mariah and Jasmine have really been getting into it. I mean, every time I see someone on the ground, it's always them two, right next to each other, kind of scruffing. <laughs> All right, Morgan Hitchcock coming into the game. Off first, I thought she just came in and just made Makes that rebound. easy two ball. Tori Bellamy getting the offensive rebound, almost converting on the layup, but <laughs> another turnover by Mariah Ferris, and Colby Bro couldn't quite connect on the layup. Mariah Ferris with another turnover, giving the ball to Mar Colby Bro. Colby Bro Mariah finds Ferris, Morgan Hitchcock fake, faking her out. Morgan Hitchcock finally getting that two ball, fighting for that. I think that was three turnovers in that little drive right there. And that is going to be a full timeout for Carmen. Wow, that, I think we're gonna we replay that replay. entire whole exchange there. Let's see what the patrol room has for us. Yep, there's Here's gonna be that first steal by Mariah Ferris. Colby Bro couldn't quite connect on that layup. And then Mariah Ferris once again on the ground, who find, <laughs> then Morgan Hitchcock who finds Colby Bro. Colby Bro finding Morgan Hitchcock, and then fake out. finally connecting on one of the shots made. Definitely something, it's a three point game right now, folks. This game is nowhere near over. And you know, it's one of those things, it's just an amazing thing, because that was three turnovers. Mm -hmm. That was more than we had in the entire first half of the first quarter. Just in that little mm -hmm. exchange right there. Oh, definitely. It, this more, than, more so than the Flushing game, last, excuse me, two weeks ago, keeping me on the edge of my seat, because they, they trimmed down, what, a nine-point lead? Yeah, like nine a ten-point point deficit. Granted, it was at a slow pace, but comeback, we're there. Though. We're three points away from Sometimes tying Carmen. Sometimes it takes athletes and sports players to get used to what's going on in their surroundings, and I think that's what Davidson really needed. Definitely took that one to, into account. And we're took going to have number five, level. Ashley Hall for the Cavaliers. Jasmine Jones, who finds Ashley Hall. Ashley Hall back out to Jasmine Jones. Jasmine Jones, long pass out to Ashley Hall. And then she's gonna lose it and it's gonna be Davison Ball. Very nice defense, I think they picked that up very nicely. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. See what Davison does with, you know, not having to get a turnover to score the ball. Davison. I swear, Kobe Bro is amping Kobe Bro just beating all that defense and forcing the foul. I think that's going to be two shots for Kobe Bro at the free throw line. Kobe Bro isn't at the free throw line much, but she she's definitely good at them. She's she works her team. She works her team very well to execute every play and to try something different. Every single transition turnover. I completely agree. All right, she's going to make her first. All right, actually, excuse me, she did not make her first. Kobe Bro setting up for her second. And that's gonna be good. On Nothing but net. Oh, stock react back in. Oh, oh, Kobe Bro getting up for that for that steal. Emily Lindsay, not not the greatest pass, but that was cool to see Kobe Bro have the, you know the the vertical of her entire height. I saw two of her right there. Quick pass out to Mariah Ferris. She's got Emily Lindsay, or excuse me, Maury Hitchcock clapping over here. Usually used to Emily Lindsay making those noises. They have got Maury Hitchcock wide open on the right side of the court. Kobe Bro couldn't quite connect on that one. I, think, I don't know if they were trying to draw the foul or what. And, um, well, I mean, whether it's successful. Kobe Bro back to the line again. I spoke too soon on her never being at the line. <laughs> it's a four point game, right? Tend to do that a lot, unfortunately. Oh, well, they're gonna call back that foul. It's gonna be Mariah Ferris. You can call that back. And Mr. Fresh Hopper not okay with that call. He was not happy with that not one. At all. Let's see. Mariah, Morgan Hitchcock finds Colby Bro up top. Colby Bro looking for a ball. Fouls, looking for a girl open. Morgan that. Hitchcock. She's got Emily Lindsay wide. Emily Lindsay. Lindsay down low to Morgan Hitchcock, but it's intercepted. 
by Tomlin, who finds Jones. Jones going for the layup. Well executed by Jones. Very uh, nice shot. Being six feet away from the hoop, she still managed to get that layup. Kobe Bro, fast pass out to Emily Lindsay, who's wide and finds, finally connects on one of those three balls. And that puts Davison within three points. 27-24, Car uh, excuse me, Carmen. Let's see, we have Hall alone down with Tori Bellamy and Stawiak, Stokwiak. She's gonna connect. Those are the first points on the board for Stokwiak. Colby Bro running up. Long pass out to Morgan Hitchcock, who's wide. Morgan Hitchcock driving. Finding Tori Bellamy down low. Tori Bellamy's gonna finally get one of those rebounds. That's a nice setup. Yep, very nice setup. Troy Bellamy connecting on all of those plays she needs to. Two on one right now. I don't know where that charge was for Tori Bellamy, mm -hmm. but very, very well taken charge. Let's see, Kobe Bro fighting for it. It's gonna be Paul's foul. She fouled Kobe Bro on that one. There's a push. If I heard the ref right. Kendall Densmore and Lauren Leach coming in. For, and Chelsea Anchikin. Chelsea Anchikin, oh, Lauren Kendall Leach right Densmore, here. Mariah Fares, and Emily Lindsay. Who else do we have in here? You Kendall can hear on the Carmen bench right now that they need to anticipate every play that Davidson comes at them. All right, Colby Bro, up top for the Davidson Cardinals. Lauren Leach. All right, Chelsea Anchikin up top to Colby Bro. Lauren Leach finds Colby Bro. I think they're just trying to kill time for the end of this quarter. Lauren Leach with the long ball, not gonna connect on that one. Off the rim. See 32, Mitchell bringing it up. First time I've seen her in a little bit. We have Gooch back in. Gooch calling the girls back up. Jones, back to Gooch. Jones, down low to Mitchell. Mitchell with the long, not quite sure where she was going with that layup, but it was close nonetheless. Kobe Bro with the long shot, to me no good. And that'll be the conclusion of the third quarter for this varsity girls basketball game. Now Allie, your thoughts? I feel like I've been talking for a long time. I think they're communicating a lot better and they're transitioning very well from defense to offense, especially with how many transitions they come up with. I think Carmen's really stepping up too, noticing that they're bringing the drive now. They're committing to their players. They're committing to their defense, and they're striving for better successful plays. Mm -hmm. And I think they're making more wider shots. Definitely in the line. I think they need to incorporate more of their post again because each time they did, they came close or they made points. And we really need that right now. 31-26, not a very large affecting ball game, but it's coming close. And we're going to go to Scotty for the sideline report. Scott Wadowski, what do you have? Thanks, guys. Now the girls started off with a slow start, being beat by Carmen, 9-1. to one. Now it's, been, it's picking up rapidly with the girls being down only a few points. Now unless, we, now unless we have more rebounds and Emily Lindsay picks up some more three points, we're going to be down still a little bit. Now the Cardinals need to stop having a whole bunch of turnovers and um, and need and and need a result in more baskets for Carmen. Now I'm gonna send it back to your announcers for the rest of the game. Thanks, Scotty. Sorry we pushed a little bit too late on that one, but hopefully you got everything you had to say across. But back to the action. We have Mitchell, who finds Jones up top. Download a Gooch. Gooch going back out to the perimeter. Who finds number 25, Jones. Mitchell, once again. Davison definitely keeping him out at the perimeter, not letting him have much anything, not letting him have basically anything on the inside except that play. And Kobe Bro driving quick, getting past those Dave Cardinal, excuse me, Cavalier defenders. We're gonna have Kendall Densmore with the long ball. Not one you normally see taking threes. Oh. Chelsea Enchkin thrown off on that one. Jones coming out of nowhere. Kendall definitely fighting, fighting for that rebound. All right. Kendall just about got tackled. <laughs> And she's gonna get the ball back. That's definitely something you want. All right, Chelsea Anchikin though throwing it in for her. Kendall Densmore is not one I normally see. Not normally see, you know, taking threes. Kobe Bro way up top. Chelsea Anchikin. He finds Kobe Bro. Out to Lauren Leach. Lauren Leach with the long ball. 
can she connect? But Michaela Ryan gets the rebound and gets her own rebound once again. And it's going to be and one for Michaela Ryan. That's what you call a commitment right there. Definitely. Definitely it's Anytime you can the ball too. make up and get your own rebound and then get that and one. This could turn into a four point play. Coming out to a replay right now. I think of that's of that Michaela Ryan and one. Michaela Ryan Watch getting the, the rebound. rebound. Getting her own rebound, and then getting the foul and the and one. This could turn into a, you know you a, a quite a monumental play for Davison. Taking her time on these, but couldn't quite connect on that one. Davison fighting to get that turnover. Mitchell, who's got Gooch down low. Gooch weaving around Kendall and. Colby Bro for that layup. Pass to Ch Chelsea Entrican. Chelsea Entrican who finds Kendall Densmore down low. That'll be out of bounds on Ken. Oh, excuse me. I'm not, I didn't quite get that call. The push. Oh, okay, there we go. As they push on Carmen. That'll be the team's sixth foul. And Kendall will get a one for one. She makes one, she gets a second. Kendall Densmore, first time I've seen her at the line. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, personally, all season. Left handed. She's also very oh, well talented at softball, too. Softball teams, pretty sure, gonna do pretty well this year. Mm -hmm. I know they went to districts this year. All right, we're gonna have a long pass out to number 25, Jasmine Jones, to Mitchell outside. Back up top to Jasmine Jones. She's going looking for an open girl. Down low. Gooch didn't quite see that pass and come until she looked. It was almost there. Jasmine Jones right now for Carmen is one of their key players that they really need to watch out for. They need to get in her mind and really watch her and what she does. She moves the ball around very well for Carmen and is one of their best players, I think, by far. You said Jones, correct? Yes. All right. Along with Gooch, too. Oh, yeah. Gooch is... She didn't even, <laughs> I watched her, uh, I watched that pass get to her. She looked up and then realized the pass was coming and just adjusted on the fly. She drew the foul. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the quickest way out of that situation. I think she reads the passes very well too and anticipates what her other players are gonna pass to her. Without a doubt because, <laughs> I mean, she, she read it as it was coming at her. So, I mean, she knew exactly what to do after that. All right, she's not gonna make either of them. But Michaela Ryan fighting for that rebound finds Mariah Ferris, who's back into the game. Mariah Ferris hustling up, getting around Jasmine Jones. Kendall Densmore finds Emily Lindsay. Emily Lindsay for the three ball, and that's gonna be no good. Getting her own rebound though, finding Mariah Ferris down low. She's got Emily Lindsay outside. Finds the long pass out to Colby Bro, who's wide. Mitchell is on, on that defense pretty quick though. We got Michaela Ryan. That is going to be a... Travel on Michaela Ryan. Yep. The uh, toss ball almost hitting Mr. Fishhopper in the head. I don't know if you saw that. Well, he's but so tall, he could probably hit the rim on the basketball hoop. You know what? I, that would be something I'd like to put some money on. But, all right, let's see. Gooch bringing it up. Carmen almost calling, calling in three out of her, their five new, new players into the line. Rainbow shot for the three is going to be no good. You see Jones fighting for that rebound and drawing the foul. It's gonna be two shots for Jasmine Jones. For our viewers out there who have any relatives that wanna watch the game but they missed it, you can go on davisonschools.org and just press watch DTV now. And we'll have that uploaded for you 15 minutes after the game. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Um, and it brings you to a page where you know they have the, our newscasts on there, our you know football games from way back when. Anything that we have actually broadcast live on Channel 99 and we, in our, in our system that was just brand new this year, is, uh, is right up there. There's, I think it's broken up into sections and you can sort it by date. Feel whatever. free to watch. And you know, that brings DTV wherever you want in the country, which is good for relatives, for us anyways. See, they can see the stuff we do and stuff your kids do. But she's gonna miss our second rebound. <laughs> yeah, second rebound, her second free throw. Morgan Hitchcock back in. Colby Bro to Morgan Hitchcock. Morgan Hitchcock with the two. I mean, no good. Emily Lindsay getting that rebound. I've seen so many offensive rebounds for the Davidson Cardinals. Maureen Hitchcock finding Mariah Ferris. 
by Ferris driving. She's gonna almost connect on that, that layup. Emily Lindsay alone. She's not gonna make that layup. Maureen Hitchcock fighting for it. I believe that is going to be Mariah Ferris, definitely nice girl. She's knocked down by number 10, helps her back up. Carmen not liking that call. Let's see, we have a few new, few new Carmen players in. Number 40, whom of which is not on the roster, excuse me. And we're going, it's gonna go with number 40. And then who else do we have in? We have Stockwiak coming in for Rimmer. And Emily Lindsay, Colby Bro. We have Tori Bellamy sitting down. Chelsea Entrican back in the game. That's who we came in. All right, Morton Hitchcock does not make her first. Ooh. Emily Lindsay getting right back down there with her. Bad pass by Ashley Hall. Definitely didn't look to get there. I think she just overcompensated for it, really. Yeah. Have <laughs> five minutes left in the fourth period. Five minutes left, and it is an eight-point game. Davidson definitely coming with the intensity and the aggression to make this, you know, keep them in this ball game. Morton Hitchcock finds Chelsea Entrican. Chelsea Entrican driving. Trying to draw one of those fouls. But very, very Beautiful. nice layup by Chelsea Entrican. She just gives those shots Beautiful that you know, shot. people normally wouldn't get. That's gonna be a push on Mariah Ferris. That was having a replay coming up right now. You know, I didn't get to really get a good look at that shot, so I'm kind of excited to see it. I'm, I believe it's gonna be a Chelsea Entrican's layup. Right you are, Drake. <laughs> All right. See the angle she has on this. I believe she's basically pretty much behind. Yep. She was on her way behind the backboard and that was awesome. Well executed by <laughs> and well executed right there by Colby Bro almost getting that steal. Number 40 couldn't quite hold on to the ball there. Mariah Ferris running down. She draws the foul. And I believe that will be. I'm thinking probably two shots for, for Mariah Ferris. Yep, two shots. That'll be the team's fifth foul. Actually, that's the team's ninth foul. My mistake, I did not read the refs hand signals correctly. And Davidson's going to take another timeout. This is a six point game with four minutes and 37 seconds left in this game. Um, definitely something I'm looking forward to. Um, it's Davidson's definitely completely re reworked their defense from the first quarter. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's obvious, it's pretty obvious. And Paying off for them right now. If, if you notice in the first probably five minutes of play, they didn't have any full court press whatsoever. And now, you know, it's working for them. How many turnovers have they gotten? Too many to count, right? Yes. Any thoughts before we get back into this action? Both I think they really need to make their shots right now. <laughs> I completely agree. And definitely put on the defense on Carmen. All right. I, don't, I haven't seen any line changes quite yet for Davison. Just keeping it, keeping it as is. Carmen definitely breaking out the clipboard for that one. X's and O's. So we have Stockwiak, Hall, number 40, and Jones in for it. The Cavaliers. Oh, excuse me, and Boyd. Mariah Ferris. Taking the free throw, two shots. My Ferris has four points. And that's gonna be Emily Lindsay with 10. Every point right now is really critical, so missing your free throw, yep. I mean, that could be a big loss in that. But she can definitely make up for it, it's considering she's Mariah Ferris. Her, she's the only one in the gym. Her sister which also plays, that. and she came from Powers, which is kind of funny that there are two sisters, and they're both really good at basketball, but they played for different schools. Yep, uh, last year it was pretty interesting. There was um, both coaches. I don't know if it was intentional or un unintentional. Mariah ended up coming, covering her sister in the Powers game. It was <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch because it's almost like they could read each other's minds. They can play in. It'd be kind of you know? awkward to go home and like talk to your parents yeah. like that. Like, I wonder how that conversation went. Yeah, mom, just hit me in the face. Like, or they maybe, or maybe they're very civil about it and talked it over. But that's gonna be a foul on Davison, Colby Bro helping up Ashley Hall. It's gonna be it's gonna be a block or excuse me, a push on Mariah Ferris. 
it's almost like they're milking it for everything they can, all these fouls. Mm -hmm. Because that's really critical too, because when you come down to it, every foul that they get, that's two shots or one shot. And right. that can be and big play in that. Dave, excuse me, Carmen actually has nine fouls, which gives Davison a bonus, which means each free throw is worth two. Oh, number 40 coming through with a layup. First point of the game, Colby Bro, getting up there quick. Good handles by Colby Bro. Finds Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris driving. Finds Emily Lindsay up top. Long pass up to Maureen Hitchcock. She has Chelsea Entrickin. Maureen Hitchcock out to Colby Bro. Deep ball by Colby Bro, and that's Colby exactly Bro what wanted need that right there. too. You could tell from the bottom key she was wanting that pass. Right, right when he came off her hand, she knew that was going in. All right, we're gonna have Stockwiak. It's gonna be travel on Stockwiak. Davidson really needs this right now, and we're coming out to a replay. Excuse me on that replay. We're actually not gonna come out to it. We're gonna have. It's a four-point game, 3.23 left in the, in the entire game, actually. Chelsea Entrickin driving with those, one of those famous <laughs> down-by-the-hip layups. Jones taking it up. Jones definitely taking one for this team. Let's see Mariah Ferris. That is going to be Davidson Ball out on Ashley Hall. Chelsea Entrickin for the Davidson Cardinals. Throwing it in. Three Remember minutes coming left. Coming in for Sotskowak. Who was that? That was Rimmer? Yep. Rimmer that came in? All right. Now we get a game. She runs a 56 400. <laughs> Amazing, right? <laughs> Without a doubt. Definitely shows on the basketball court. Phenomenal. But Kobe Bro finds Emily Lindsay. Emily Lindsay with the long ball. Oh. Couldn't quite connect, but Davidson getting the, almost getting the rebound that they desperately needed right there. They're down two shots right now. Let's see what we have here. I want to see if Mr. Fishhopper tells his girls to go all out right now or just tie it. Long pass, almost hitting us right there. That's going to be travel call on Ashley. <laughs> the Carmen bench not happy with that Having one. Having a replay coming up. A replay on that bomb pass, almost hitting us. Definitely saw bad things coming out of that pass. Not quite sure. Carmen is not happy with that call. And not then that's going to be that three ball by Colby Bro. Very, very well executed by Colby Bro. She wanted that. Right when she got the ball, she knew she was going to make it. Colby Bro finds Chelsea Entrickin. Colby Bro with another three. And she's oh. going to connect again. It's going to be Beautiful. six points for Colby Bro. That's a one point game. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Number 40. Well played by Mariah Ferris to get Chelsea Entrickin in a position to get the off defensive rebound. Kobe Bro once again with the ball. Kobe Bro faking him out. Mariah Ferris finds Kobe Bro, who finds Emily Lindsay. We're in Hitchcock, down low to Chelsea Entrickin. Finds Emily Lindsay, back to Kobe Bro, who finds Mariah Ferris with a long ball. And it's gonna be good, Mariah Ferris connecting. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea we have a ball game right now. Kobe knocking the ball out. Wow, I almost leaped out of my seat with that one. That was, that was good. Alrighty. Having a replay coming up right now. That Hope beautiful three. Hopefully it's gonna be a, one of the past, or excuse me, one of the past two threes. I believe it's probably gonna be the first one. Yep, that lo another long ball mm. that Colby Bro just connected on. The Mariah Ferris from the other side of Colby Bro that usually plays on. Just delicious how she just shot that. I agree. None, none of those three three-pointers hitting the rim at all. Oh, nothing but net. Mm -hmm. They're shooting just like there's no one in the gym. It's just a dark gym in them. And wow. That is Davison in the lead for the first time in the game. Two minutes and one second left. And it's 40 for the Cardinals and 38 for the Carmen Cavaliers. And they actually, you know, did everything that we had hoped they would do to turn this game <laughs> around. And not quite sure if Carmen is going to lose their composure with some of the a few of the calls that have been made. I don't know if that's gonna be a good or a bad thing in the long run mm -hmm. for Davidson. Definitely still gonna be an intense two minutes of play. Alrighty. 
going to be Carmen Ball. Boyd throwing it in. All right. Ashley Hall bringing it up for the Carmen Cavaliers. Throws it to Boyd. Boyd out to Jones. Out to Boyd. Up top to Jones. Excuse me, that was Hall. Definitely a turnover they needed. Maureen Hitchcock fighting for it. But another turnover by Carmen. Carmen converted. Tied game though. Tied at 40. Minute 39 left to play. Colby Broke taking it up. Finds Chelsea Etchkin. Sticking with Chelsea Etchkin conver almost converting. Offensive rebound by Mariah Ferris. To find another. Maureen Hitchcock drawing the foul. First time Maureen Hitchcock will be at the line in the entire game. Wow. All right. Now we have the double bonus because Carmen definitely has 10 fouls for as a team right now. When Hitchcock will shoot two. Double the fouls that Davidson has. <laughs> Agreed. Makes her first. Beautiful. Makes her first. Like I said, this it comes down to these critical moments when you definitely need these free throw shots. Every bonus point is meant to be made. Every free throw is meant to be made. It's meant to be a point. <laughs> that is is the truest statement that has ever been said on one of these varsity girls basketball team broadcasts. See if she can make her second though. She couldn't quite connect on her second, but almost, Davidson almost coming through with the rebound. <gasps> Mariah Ferris, another one of those steals that they needed, finds Morgan Hitchcock. Taking their time, Davidson. setting it up. Davidson not rushing anything. Chelsea Edgkin with the two ball, getting her own rebound once again, and that's gonna be Mr. There's a push Davidson on Mariah ball. Ferris. It's gonna be Carmen Ball. A foul on Davidson. I'm not quite sure what the foul actually was. Because that's I believe that's a push. Alright, we have Tomlin throws it to Boyd up top to Jasmine Jones. Jasmine Jones looking for an open girl, finds Boyd. 56 seconds. 56 seconds left to play. It's a one-point game. Jasmine Jones finds Boyd. Boyd about to drive. Tomlin down low. And couldn't quite connect. Oh. Offensive rebound by Carmen. No good. That's going to be a foul. A two shots for number 23 for the Carmen Cavaliers. That is Tiara Gooch. Let's see if she can make it because either... The best situation right now that Davidson has is either she misses it, we take it down there, we hold it, we win, mm -hmm. or she makes it, and we just make one, two shots, and then we'll be up by one. Yep, definitely. But we'll see how it plays out. Got this entire gym on the edge of their seats. Lindsay in for Mariah Ferris. I don't even see any of the teenagers looking at their phones. It's kind of impressive, actually. <laughs> Generally, it's half of them looking at their phones. And wow, that was that was a louder whistle than I'm used to. Dave's going to take a 30-second timeout. Well, they're just putting this ending off, and I, I, you know, I can't. This is the suspense that's killing me, I tell you what. I know. Oh, now we have the pet band. I, almost like the good luck. That's Ever since they came in, we've been closing in on this lead, and, you know, now we have it. It's a one-point game with 41.7 seconds left in the game. And, you know, there's no telling what either team can do with these 41 seconds. This timeout seems a little bit longer than 30 seconds, don't you think? All righty. Ms. Fishhaber seems as composed as always. Right now. Pretty composed as always. Wonder if he's going to pull the whole flushing thing. But I hope not. I think Mr. Fishhaber has a little bit different plan in mind. See if Gooch can connect on these free throws. And that's gonna be no good on her first, and she's got one more. All Carmen can do at this point is tie. Like I said, Drake, comes down to free throws. <laughs> Without a doubt. Morgan Hitchcock is telling your team to box out after. See if they actually do it. Couldn't connect on either of them. Michaela Ryan. Getting up there for the rebound. Long pass to Kobe Bro, but you know, Kobe Bro manages to find it. Kobe Bro connecting with Chelsea Edgerton. Finds Morgan Hitchcock wide open. 
Chelsea Atchikin to wind down the clock. So we have number 24. Carmen actually has to get the ball. All righty. Ashley Hall. Foul on Carmen girl number five. Nat Ashley Hall actually talking to her bench and not too happy that she had to take that foul because she had four already. And I believe at six or seven, I can't quite, from, quite remember the exact number, but you know, that's when she gets. All right, Chelsea Anchikin with the, Beautiful. and she makes her first one. All right. <laughs> Kobe Bro and Emily Lindsay high fiving on the s at midcourt. All right, 24 seconds left, two point game. If Davidson wins, this will be a very nice upset. Yeah, and I think right now they're they're extremely really close and fighting for their, you know, the uh, the number two spot in the conference. But Carmen just really flustered right now. <laughs> these are the moments a news organization lives for. We love these kinds of games that come down to the wire. Mm-hmm. Davidson not not looking nervous at all, holding their composure down to the end. And I believe Chelsea's gonna get one more, have a chance to make it a three-point game. And you know, Davidson, or excuse me, Carmen hasn't had that many three-pointers to connect on as it is. So we'll see how it plays out. Chelsea Ench can take a deep breath and make this free throw. Heck, I'm gonna hold my breath. I'm nervous. Bear with me. Ready, folks? <gasps> oh, nope, couldn't connect. Boyd's going to get the rebound. Boyd's going down. It's all defense right now on Davidson. Boyd finds number three, finds Jones. Jones driving, and it's going to connect. It's going to make it a tie game. Ten seconds left. Clock winding down. Finds Chelsea Anchikin. That's going to be a timeout by TJ. Seven seconds left. Davidson ball at midcourt. Why do they do this to us? I am... Wow, all right. It's a pressure game situation. That's the whole love of sports. When you're I'm on pressure, what can you do with it? There is a chance, a chance, Allie, for overtime. I, have, I haven't seen an overtime game in a while. I'd actually be pretty excited. I once played basketball in all really? my years, and we went to double overtime. Really? Well, yep, I played with Emily Lindsay, no Lindsay way. Fulton, and Chelsea Entrican and Kendall Densmore. Wow, we so you, you should be team. in this lineup, Allie. Oop, good. Where you at? Do you play sports in the winter? Club volleyball. Oh, okay, like actually, yeah, that's probably taking up most of your time. Not even club, like intense volleyball. All right. Legion. <laughs> play Legion, Puerto all right. Rico. All right, well. And they kill us every year. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no killing on going on in this game. We no. have a tie game with 7.8 seconds left in the entire game. And this is just what like people come out to watch games for, like intensity and emotional games like this one. Without a doubt. Really draws crowds. Heck, it's what players play for. They love these close games. Exactly. I don't, I don't think any player would be content with just a bunch of blowouts. Okay, Ryan back there getting a little Playing feisty. really, really hard defense. Colby Bro, running up there, running up there, running up there. That's going to be out of bounds. Fine, 3.3 .3 seconds left. I don't think Carmen's gonna be able to convert in this much time. I'm smelling overtime, folks. All right, Ashley Hall. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be a another timeout, and we are forced to that sit here like and wait third longer. Third timeout. Third timeout in about 30 seconds of you know of the game. Coming out. With We're gonna have a replay, replay of how exactly Ashley Hall made Colby Bro lose control of the ball. Very, very nice shot of Mr. Fishhauer talking to his team. See how he's just, he gets right up there on their level. Explaining and, you know, what to happen. Oh, well, we're not gonna have a replay of that, but regardless, Ashley Hall got, got her hand in the right spot and made Colby lose control. Colby Bro has always had, you know, one of the best ball handling I've ever seen. Um, and, all right, 3.3 .3 seconds left in the game. Hopefully there's not another timeout in this next 3.3 yeah. .3 seconds. All right, we're gonna have I believe that's, excuse me, it's me Tomlin throwing it in. They need to pass and then shoot. They don't have any time to make more than one pass. It's gonna be, be fought off, fought off, fought off, and that's gonna be no good. And that's overtime, folks. Overtime, ladies well, and gentlemen. Well, that. 
Actually, I don't know if we are going to have overtime. Yep, definitely. All righty. Well, I don't really know what to say at this point. It's, it's really anyone's ball game. I was, I'm almost speechless, but I can't really be because I'm in this position, but. Great drive by both game, by both yeah. teams, both, excuse me. It's, it's been a really, really defensive game for, for both teams, and it's just one of those things where we need to, I'm not quite sure on the rules of girls high school basketball overtime, because my, my, I myself have not really have you know, been in overtime yet this year. Um, not not in any of the games we broadcast in the in the whole three years I've been associated with DTV. I have never announced or been involved in any sort of DTV. And see now, now we have to fight with the uh, the whole pet man thing. We got Mr. Chris Hillwood pumping up the crowd like always. Great kid. All right, four minutes on the clock, and we have. I don't know if the file fouls are going to reset or they're. I believe fouls aren't going to reset. We're going to have another tip off. Michaela Ryan up against Boyd once again. See, now everyone who showed up for the Boyd's game is about to witness this extremely, extremely aggressive and intense overtime. Gooch against Ryan right now. All right. See who gets this. Here comes the tip off. Michaela Ryan's going to connect. Michaela Ryan back to Emily Lindsay who finds Colby Bro. Colby Bro bringing it up for the Davidson Cardinals. Davidson out to Morgan Hitchcock who's going to find Chelsea Entrican. Who's going to find Morgan Hitchcock out to Michaela Ryan. Back to Morgan to Hitchcock deciding against taking the shot. Come on, Morgan. Morgan looking for an open girl who finds Chelsea Entrican. Colby Bro down low. Michaela Ryan down low. That's going to be a foul. Michaela Ryan's going to draw the foul. It's going to be two shots for Michaela Ryan. Very nice. And this is. That was a nice setup play that they tried to run right there. Yep. There's. Both teams are. I think they're switching up the defense a little bit more, keeping them guessing, mm -hmm. you know? Because Davidson. Is. Five on five. All righty. Not quite sure. Sorry, I was just trying to catch the the ref talk over here with the bench. See if I could get any insight on the rules. I think they thought that there was another person on the court. Trying to get an insight on the rules on the actual overtime of girls varsity basketball in high school. I'm not sure if there's any difference or anything. Um, they ended up. They're able to make a switch. It's going to be a Hall for Rimmer. Gooch is going to go back behind the three point line, back to half court. This is just so intense. Yeah, it's just. Let's see if Michaela like Ryan can handle the pressure. Michaela Ryan's a great basketball player. I'm sure she can handle it fine. Oh, well, that's going to be foul on number three. It's going to be. We oh, Chelsea Entrican's going to get her first foul. And that's going to be two shots for. Excuse me, Tomlin was not a foul on Tomlin. He was just pointing at her because she gets those shots. I now understand. Not quite sure what the foul was, but regardless, Tomlin's going to get a shot at some free throws. She's going to make her first. And she went one for one for that, so if she would have missed, they would have been able to get the rebound. Lauren Leach coming in for Chelsea Entrican. Let's see. Tomlin setting up for her second free throw. And she's going to make her second. It's going to be a two point game. With three minutes and 31 Let's seconds see left in back the these three minutes. overtime. Let's see, Colby Bro looking for an open girl. Finds Morgan Hitchcock behind the three, three point line. She almost connected, but gets her own rebound. Finds Colby Bro. Colby Bro driving with the field goal. Uh, almost another offensive rebound. A little collision down on Carmen's end of the court. Carmen's very nice play by Lauren Leach, who almost stopped them from scoring on that drive. And it's now a four-point game. We have Colby Bro bringing it up for the Davidson Cardinals. He finds Emily Lindsay back to Morgan Hitchcock with the three ball. It's going to be good. That makes it a one-point game. 
seed. We have Jasmine Jones bringing it up for the Car Carmen Cavaliers. It's a one point game, 2.45 left in overtime. Mr. Fish Hopper telling his defense to bring it in. Yep. Keep him at the perimeter, don't let him drive. You see we have Boyd with the easy turnaround. Jay, well played by that Boyd. That was a very nice shot. You can tell just in overtime, the pace of play and the pace of the reps has just increased by so much more to fit in so many points in this, this short four minute quarter that they are allowed. But Morton Hitchcock once again with the ball behind the three point line. Looking for an open girl. She's going need to do something with the ball right now. Lauren Leach, who's going to find Morgan Hitchcock. She has Emily Lindsay wide on the other side of the court, down low. Finds Lauren Leach up top. Lauren Leach looking, looking for something to do. Morgan Hitchcock once again. That's going to be a foul. And that is one shot. Having a replay right now. Can be a sh oh, of that that three Beautiful ball. Beautiful three by Morgan Hitchcock. Definitely. Morgan Here's Hitchcock for her free throw to make it a two point game. It's gonna go in. On that. She's gonna chance at a second now. Alrighty. Going for her second to make it a one point game once again. She's going to almost make that one. Gooch getting up for that one. Or excuse me, Tomlin getting up for that defensive rebound. Defensive. See, we have Gooch back up to Boyd up top. Boyd going to drive. She's going to connect with the layup. That's going to make it a four-point game. Chelsea Edgerton finds Lauren Leach. It's 50-46 left. And that's going to be a foul on Carmen. It's going to be two shots for Davidson. A foul you just you can't you can't give up because that's a free free two points almost for Davidson or a free chance at two points I should mm -hmm. say because Mr. Fitchaber right now is probably going nuts in his head. <laughs> I've never seen him take his coat off before. This Me is neither. you know he means business. He's gonna make her first. You know I've actually tried on his coat and there's a dress and it goes say, down to my ankles. Pretty sure it's almost yeah I wouldn't is that as tall as you are? She's gonna make her second. Beautiful. That's gonna make it a two point game once again. As, as stated before, you cannot give up those fouls. That will make it so th your all. four point lead that you did have and you know, make it for nothing. I think it's just a thing that happens under pressure. They get scared and they freak out. Yep. Davidson definitely keeping their composure on defense though. When Hitchcock, they're, they're you know, pressing them past the three point line. Cole Bro. Cole Bro is gonna get rebound. that rebound. Oh. Fighting. That's gonna be a foul. Once again. All right. It's gonna be one shot for Kobe, bro. All right. One minute left, and it has potential to be a one point game once again. I'm not quite sure if there's, you know, two overtimes that ever happened, but. See, Kobe Bro. And it's set up for their second. Excuse me, your first. I see I'm so antsy, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm I'm just on why did they do this to me? I, I there's just so much suspense. She's gonna make her oh, mm. I spoke too soon. Sorry for the noise, folks. I that could have tied the game. Yep. But it's alright. She definitely makes up for it in all games anyway. Mm. Let's see. We have Kobe going to not make her second. Nice Almost a turnover caused by Colby Bro. <laughs> Davidson just everywhere with their defense. Fighting Boyd for this. They're trying to get it from her. They've got Mitchell. She's not going to be able to connect on that layup. But does draw the foul. That's going to be Davidson's ninth foul as a team. Keep in mind that fouls did not end up resetting after the end of the second half, coming into the second quarter. It is now, has potential to be a four point game again. They didn't add the last foul. What's that? That Carmen had, they should have 11 fouls. Oh no, I, I think it just stops at 10. Because yeah. that's, that's the max bonuses they can get. 
Meaning basically that if you get one free throw, you, you're going to guaranteed have two. Mm -hmm. She's going to make her first. Three point game, 47 seconds left in overtime. This game keeps flipping back and forth. I can almost not keep up. They're like a roller coaster right now. I mean, the yeah. emotions are just going up and down. Uh oh. Down. There's a four point game and a timeout by Carmen. See what Mr. Fishhopper just smiling at me. He just made eye contact with me and smiled. I don't know what that means. He just always makes eye, can eye contact with me and smiles. I mean, it's never happened to me quite on the, you know, on the announcing table. That was, <laughs> maybe he's gotten something on the sleeve. I'm going mean, to like to think so. You know, there's not really much else I could say. I think you guys have been with us for, all. Yep, you've been with us for quite a long time, Davison. And here's the pep band. Yep. Chris, Chris Elwood just dancing it up out there. Such he a nice kid. Definitely pumps up the crowd. See, <laughs> we have all the boys, the boys coaches, you know, and everyone ready for senior night over there just waiting anxiously for this game to end. And, you know, like we have previously stated, after this, stay tuned for about, a, about you know, 20 minutes in between, 20 minute inter intermission, and then we'll have Wesson Cowan and Christian Matsukis bringing you your varsity boys basketball game against the Carbon, Carmen Can Cavaliers, which looks to be a great game just like this one. Hopefully seeing another overtime. Yeah. I would like to see two overtime, overtime games in one night. All right. I have two shots for... This is going to be really hard for the seniors, too. I mean, it's senior night. It could yeah. be their last home game. I think it is their last home game, actually. I mean, that's really something going on mentally right now. And Trying to overcome that is just a very hard obstacle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm at a loss for words. This game, you know, was way closer. Or excuse me, has come down to the wire. And like I had previously said, I remember saying, I mean, I hope this game comes down to the wire. And I think Davison just really kind of just slowed down and kind of gave up this last in the overtime, oh like well. right in the beginning. Carmen definitely came with the defense. Yeah. Getting their own rebounds like that. Like those Carmen are definitely brought it. Emily Lindsay making the turnover. Lauren Leach not ready for that pass, but Chelsea Anchikin fighting for it. It's going to be a foul on Boyd. If she makes these two shots and then someone – Hit the three throw. She didn't seem too happy with the that. Three point. But you know, mm -hmm. one of those things where if she didn't seem too happy and she kind of, you know, jumped around and complained in front of the ref, that sometimes can bring out technicals, which yeah. is something that they they don't need right now. Especially with Chelsea Inchkin for lines for how much mm -hmm. she forces fouls. We have 53 48, Carmen. Four. Chelsea Entrican for her first. Gonna make her first. Beautiful. Very this solid foul is shot. What definitely could keep coming. If she makes both of these, it's a three point game. It's, it's still anyone's ball game. Mm -hmm. Chelsea Entrican for her second. And she's gonna make it. Chelsea Entrican, just phenomenal at that free point line. Mm -hmm. Free throw line. It's gonna be out on Carmen. Davison ball on the side they need to score on. This is monumental for Davison. It's going to be Tierra Mitchell who couldn't quite hold on to the ball. The Morgan Hitchcock. Let's see what happens right here. Morgan Hitchcock finds Chelsea Entrican. Oh! It's going to be... It's still Davison ball. Yep. I believe... I think Carmen touched that. Let's see. Warren Hitchcock once again throwing in from the opposite side. Finds Lauren Leach with the turnaround J. But offensive rebound just like they needed. Warren Hitchcock fighting for it and she's going to get the foul. Oh wow. This is nuts right now. Warren Hitchcock needs to com remi I'll remind you guys we still have 27 seconds left in this game. It's 50-53. This game could go Harvard. anywhere. I mean it changes like the weather in Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Changes so quick. What was it last weekend? could ride home with your windows Sunny, down on Friday. Yeah. And then we had snow day on it's Tuesday. Like Arctic tundra outside yeah. my house. There's almost a second snow apocalypse, as I they call it on I the news. I don't get it. Yeah, I really don't get it. Wow. I am just, 
at I'm an absolute I'm at a loss of words. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing really to describe, you know, how intense tongue. it is actually to, you know. Do you spite your tongue? Nope. That's not good. In the same spot. See what? Morgan Hitchcock. Morgan Hitchcock. Makes her first. That's to make it a two point game for Davison. We're going to have a replay where she stepped out of bounds. Nope. Yep. Oh, and we're going to have a slow mo. Slow -mo. Nice work. Control room. And right, right there. Nice call by the ref. Yep, that definitely bounced barely Beautiful on the baseline. Ball. And that's going to make her second. One point game, 20 seconds, seven seconds left. They were just down this five. This could go anywhere. They I mean, if you're Carmen right now, you're probably thinking, what just happened? What just happened? I'm, I'm here, and I'm thinking what just happened. I'm, I'm neither side. They're just side. letting it go with the fouls, though, and they're not, it's they're not accurate enough right now. They need to be precise. Oh, my goodness. And they need to have precision. Excuse me. This is... One of the most fun, I, this most fun I've ever had, ever announcing a game. Definitely, definitely. Because I'm on. It was just a five-point deficit. No, and they thought, eight. and we, you know, we thought. That was Allie. What's that? Allie Dowdle. That's why we're having fun. Oh, of course, of course. No. Can't have fun without Allie. Nope. Never. <laughs> um. Yeah. See, it was. What was it 40, 44 seconds ago of actual game clock time? It was a five-point game. Forty-eight fifty-three. Now. It, it turned it into a 4 0 run. It's <laughs> in, you know. Beautiful sight to see. I mean, once in a lifetime thing. Mr. Fish Hopper has definitely been working real hard with his team with his free throw lines. I wonder if he just gets, you know. Mr. Fish Hopper is such a goofy, goofy character. I mean, I think he's laughing with Mr. Alderson right now. I think he uh, give ex gives extra credit to his, you know, students to have him watch and give him pressure on just yeah. shooting free throws, you know. Yeah. That'd be a good way to, you know, have him practice free throws. 27 seconds left. Almost <gasps> picked off by Emily Lindsay. Davison trying their best out to foul. foul. That's going to be a foul on Lauren Leach. Doesn't look too happy with that call. <laughs> Both teams at, you know, maxed out 10 fouls. Both teams at the double bonus. It will be two shots, four. It's going to be number 23. Easily just Aaron make one Leach. three. One three. <laughs> That'd be amazing. This is double overtime for sure. So many stoppages of play. Like, Oh we yeah. have been here for a very, very long time. Let's see, number 23. She's gonna miss her first. It's not good for Carmen. They can only make it a two-point game now. Kobe Bro coming back in. Or, I don't know if they're, who they're talking to with Jasmine Jones and Kobe Bro. As she takes her second. She's going to miss her second. Chelsea Antrin getting the rebound, bringing it up for the Davidson Cardinals. Chelsea Antrin trying to draw the foul, couldn't quite come up with it. Davison fighting for it. Chelsea Antrin with Kobe Bro. Uh oh. It's gonna be a foul on Chelsea Antrin. Chelsea Antrin coming through, not stopping as she thought she would, and kind of knocking over. Um, I think that was. A well placement of the, you know, the physical side of things for yeah. Tierra Mitchell. She just knew to be there because I don't think she knew, she I think she knew Chelsea wouldn't be able to stop taking the charge. Well, another chance at free throws for Carmen. She's gonna miss her first. Gonna have a replay coming up with that foul. Replay of the uh, collision down midcourt. Have it in slow motion. Once again, impressive. Beautiful. See, stop by Colby Bro. See, see, she she dove. Yeah. She dove right there. It was actually dove to force the foul. Well played by Tierra Mitchell. She's going to shoot for a second. She's going to make it. It's going to make it a two-point game. 13 seconds left in overtime. Kobe Bro getting getting pressure hard from Jasmine Jones. Running up. Kobe Bro's going to find Lauren Leach. Who's going to fumble it? Emily Lindsay with the three ball. No good. She's trying to force the foul. And that's going to be a game. game. Well, folks, that was, I had fun. I mean, I know you Definitely couldn't, best, best you game couldn't by put far. your two, fence, two cents in, folks, but I had fun. This was one of the most intense games I have personally ever watched. Both teams, both teams got a W in my book. They both played hard till the end. And Thank you for fun. all your viewers watching today. Yep. Um, stay tuned for the boys' basketball varsity game that's about to happen next. Yep, and... For all of us here at DTV, we'll see you in 20 minutes. As always, I'm Drake Morgan. Alongside Allie Dowdle. And we'll see, see you in about 20 minutes. Stay with us.